Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Surfer BRG's Review Time, new season, and this season's going to be special because the whole season's going to be about arcade hits and PC or vintage PC games. So now, the first game I like to talk about, I got from my DOS boxing emulator. It's called um, Twilight Zone. It's supposed to be one of those, you know, text-based um, PC games where you gotta use your imagination and do a lot of typing. So I downloaded it, I had it for a while for like the DOS and you know it's kind of weird but let me show you guys the gameplay because I'll do a commentary during gameplay so let's see it. So anyway when I first turned on the game or when I first played it I obviously had no clue what I was doing. I kind of fidgeted around for a while and I got the, I kind of got the idea of the gameplay you know you gotta type in commands like look at this or pick up this or exit through or go this way and it's really fascinating game to play and it's really cool to play it's actually supposed to be I, I take it it's supposed to be based off the you know the original TV show or the story on the Twilight Zone it was kinda creepy or scary but at least they did include some pictures throughout the game because some text games did include like at least some pictures to help you out not all of them did but pretty much all I did was I pretty much just looked around did whatever, picked up whatever items. I don't know I have too much to say about this game, except I do like the graphics. I do like how they give you the idea of using your imagination. You know, maybe people think it might be crazy or stupid, but it's fun. It has really good graphics, I'd say. It's pretty fair for the DOS, especially for the DOS games, because I remember back then there were a lot of DOS games, or vintage PC games out, and this is one of them. And I'm surprised... I don't know if too many people know about this game, to be honest, but I could be wrong. But, I don't know what to say, except this game is pretty decent, it's pretty nice. The only main problem I had was, I had no idea what I was doing at all in the game. And, I tried to figure it out, tried to figure out, what else was crazy was I tried to look for a strategy guide, and I don't know if there is one somewhere or not, but, overall, I can say was, didn't get too far in the game because I had no idea what I was doing at all. So anyway, so I'm gonna pause the gameplay footage and give my rating. Overall, um, after playing this game, um, I'd say it's pretty decent. It's pretty fun. If you're like into the Twilight TV show or the Twilight Zone stuff, if you're into Twilight Zone, you know, TV show or books or whatever they have. Then this game's good for you. Otherwise, the only thing I could say is if if you don't if you play it but don't know what you're doing, then don't bother to play it. But if you really, but all I can say is if you're still interested in playing the game, go look for. It. I think they do have it on a couple abandonedware websites. I download this off some abandonedware website where people post a lot of abandonedware games now for these DOS box or other stuff. But overall, the game's pretty fun. I had no clue what I'm doing. It's kind of a little awkward or weird, but all I can say about this game is I'm just going to give it a 4.5. It means, nah, it's okay. But it's off to say, so I'm Surfer BRG. See you guys later.